What's up everybody, Goat Toaster 9 JJ Shankles back here with another video. This is the beginning of a series. This is my VR fitness test. In this series, I'm gonna play VR games and track it on my Garmin fitness watch, track how many calories I burn with an average 30 minute play span. So we're gonna go through some more of the details afterwards, but this is the first episode. I thought I'd start with a good baseline game, Beat Saber, the game that we all know gets us to a great sweat. Or if you haven't played it, highly recommend it. Make sure you add mods if you are going to play Beat Saber. It's like Skyrim, it's boring without mods, if that makes sense to you in a good analogy. So let's get right into it, and then we'll talk about it afterwards, because I'm excited to get playing and figure out how this goes. Go Toaster out. <laughs> Ooh, a little sweaty after that one, and that's 30 minutes. And the reveal, no wait, we'll get to that in a second. First things first, let's get to the data. <sighs> that was a good workout. It's gonna be a tough one for any other game to beat. Beat Saber, classic. It's one of my first ones I ever played. Always come back to it. It's one I've played a lot, so I'm fairly well versed in it. So I'm interested to see how that affects going forward, where this game I knew I could jump in very quickly and start playing at a decent intensity level. I'm not learning the mechanics of the game. So I don't know, it'll be interesting to see going forward what it is. But first, let's get to the data. This first one, there's nothing to compare to. It's just raw data and everything will be judged off of Beat Saber going forward. So in 30 minutes of gameplay, I burned 193 calories and averaged a heart rate of 108. That's a pretty good benchmark, and I think it'll be a good way to compare all other games off of this one to see how it competes. I'm really excited going forward. There's a lot of other games I want to test with this with, and I know there's some systematic errors that will come up because I'm just using a watch heart rate monitor, and I'm just testing off me, and I'm just running through one time right now. In the future, I'll probably do more tests and try to average the data to get a larger data set to fully compare the games together. But for now, I think one 30-minute session is enough to average it out. And it's an average of the gameplay. I'm not going in there to try to get a workout. I'm trying to go in there and play what I think a normal person would play at, where in Beat Saber specifically, you take time to pick your different songs. You're not just going alphabetically down the list trying to get as much moves in as possible. I did play some pretty high-intensity songs, but those are also the songs I really enjoy playing. I did skip over some of the slower, easier songs because I did want to keep a fairly high intensity, but I wasn't only playing like Through the Fire and the Flames the entire time. It was an average, good mix of songs, and I think that's a good data set for this one. So with this being the pilot episode, I wanted to go through and explain what I was doing and why I thought this would be a good test. I see often on Reddit or other places online where people ask, hey, what are good ways to lose weight while playing VR? And people usually come back with the anecdote, hey, fitness and workouts aren't a great way to lose weight, Diet is also super important, and I very much want to acknowledge that, and that it's very true with weight loss, but I just want to focus on purely how much activity is happening through this. And I know heart rate and calories burned is not a perfect test of this, but it's a decent test, and it's more of a comparison between games, and it'll be interesting to see going forward how it'll change. While I'm thinking about it, leave a comment down below if there's anything you think I should do differently in these tests or things I need to test, or if there's any other data I need to keep metrics on that would make a more complete data set for comparing games together. But for all the data I'm collecting, I don't think it's a raw number that everyone will be able to hit 193 calories per 30 minute workout session in Beat Saber. I'm gonna use it as more of a comparison between Beat Saber and Gorn and other games down the line of how those compare using me as the control and this watch as the control. I'm using the same watch on the same person with the same 30 minute time and playing at a similar intensity with each one. I know that's very subjective and that can change from person to person, 
But the biggest goal with this experiment is to know the differences between games and how they stack up and compare from game to game. And so down in the comments, let me know if there's anything you think I should do differently. I'm gonna play through most of the games in my Steam library just to get a, as much games in there to compare against as possible. And we're just gonna go from there. But let me know if there's any specific games that you really like working out to or you think gives you a great workout. And I'll try to add them to the list and we'll get to those later. So thank you all for sticking around. And as always, like and subscribe down below. Keep coming back for future videos. This being the pilot, it's only the first one we've done. And I have a lot of other games coming up. And it'll be really interesting to see how they all stack up once this is all done. Thank you all for sticking around. Go Toaster out.